Hey there internets, I'm Michael and today on Two Can Play That Game I'm going to teach you how to play Sushi Go Party by Game Right. Setting up the game, the first thing to do is to take the board and set it in the middle of the table. You're then going to want to take a coloured pawn for each player and set these by the zero space on the track along the outside edge of the board. Next, you'll need to decide your card selection for the game. Now, the rulebook does contain a good selection here of different ones that you can do. Um, we're going to start by setting up the dinner for two option down here. So to do that, we're going to need to get our nigiri. So there are three different values of nigiri, one, two, and three. And no matter what cards you're playing with, you should always be using all of your nigiri. So you'll want to have those. You then need to pick your rolls. And for the dinner for two, the rolls we'll be using are the uramaki. So we place the tile in the roll space on the board. And we put the cards with our nigiri cards ready to shuffle. Then we do the same for our specials, and in this case it's going to be special order and menu. So we'll place the tiles for those in the board and add the cards ready to shuffle. Then we pick free appetizers, and the three we're going to have are onigiri, tofu, and miso soup. So again, we put the tiles in and we gather up all the cards. Finally, we need to pick our dessert, which for our dinner for two is fruit. Again, we will place this tile in the centre board, but we don't add the cards for these along with the others. First, we shuffle them, and then we'll need to deal out a number of cards depending on the round number and also on the number of players. And you can find this either in the menu board itself it has it, or in the rule book. So according to this, for a two player game for our dinner for two, we should be having in round one five of these cards. So we'll add five of these cards to the other cards that we'd set aside. And now that we have all of our cards, of course, keeping in mind we have set aside some of those dessert cards, we don't want to touch those. We shuffle all of those together and then deal each player a number of cards depending on the total number of players. So for two to five players, it will be 10 cards. So we deal each player 10 cards and we're then ready to begin the game. The aim of the game is to get victory points and you'll get these victory points by playing the cards. Now, all the cards score in different ways and the majority of them will score at the end of the round. There are some which may score during the round and there are also some that score at the end of the game and that's the desserts. They're always scored at the end of the game and the game consists of three rounds and each of these rounds consists of you looking at the cards you've been given and you pick one to play. So this will be added in front of you. So say I pick this card, place it down in front of me. Once every player has selected a card to play, you then pass these cards to your left. So I would pass these over here and I would get another set from player to my right. You then reveal what card it is that you have played and I played a Nigiri 2 card. Then with the cards you've been given, you again look and go, I will keep a card. Once everyone has, you reveal and you keep playing like this until you have no cards left. That is then the end of the round, and you will work out what your points are. So let's go through for this dinner for two, what the cards are and how they score, just to give you an idea of how some of the cards work, because there are a lot more cards than this, but I'm not going to go through all of them. So Nigiri will give you that many points, as is on the card, at the end of the round. So here we have our rolls are the Uramaki. So this is a race to get to ten rolls and on the cards they have a different number of rolls along the top. So some might be worth only three rolls, some cards worth five rolls. As soon as you've got ten down in front of you, 
then you get the number of points for the first place. Second person to do this will get the second place points, and so on. The next option we have is the menu. So this is only for two to six player games. Um, when you use the menu, as you play it, you will then take all the cards that have not been dealt out that round, and you will draw four of these. You will look at these cards, and you will pick one to play as a card for this round. The menu gets discarded and it will be shuffled in for the next round of play. The cards that you have not selected to play, the three of those, will get shuffled back into the unused cards for that round, in case any other menus come out. With a special order, when you play the card, you'll pick a card that you've already played and you will point it at that card and you're then duplicating that card, and it will score in the exact same way that that card did. Then moving on to our appetizers, we have Onagiri. Now, this scores depending on the number of different unique shapes. So there are four different types of Onagiri, and if you have all four, you can get up to 16 points. One will only get you one point, two four points, and three nine points. The Tofu. If you have just one tofu in front of you at the end of the round, you'll get two points. If you have two tofus in front of you at the end of the round, you get six points. But if you end the round with three or more tofus in front of you, you get no points for them at all. And the final appetizer is the miso soup. Now, this scores simply three points, but if anyone else plays a miso soup in the same turn that you're playing it, it will get discarded. Now, that isn't in the same round, so someone could play it in a different turn of cards, but in the turning over of cards in a round, if you're turning one over and someone else is also turning one over and they're both miso soup, then you both discard them and no one gets any points. Then that leaves us with our sweet little desserts, which in this case is fruit. And the fruit will score depending on the different types of fruit that you have at the end of the game. So if you have no fruit at the end of the game, you'll lose points, you'll have minus two points. If you have one type of fruit, you get one point. And as you get more and more fruits, you get more points. So that is how you will score for the round and all the different cards for a dinner for two anyway. As I say, there are other cards and they will score differently. Once you've finished the round, you gather up all cards that are not dessert cards. The dessert cards will stay with those players for the end game scoring. You will then shuffle all the cards together, along with a number of new dessert cards, as denoted by the number of players. You then again deal each player a speci specified number of cards, so 10 for a 2 to 5 player game. And you once again go through picking a card and passing your cards which is a mechanic commonly known as drafting, and they call it in this a light pick and pass game. Once you've done your second round, you then do a third round doing the exact same thing. Then it's the end of the game. You'll work out your scoring for that final round, and then also in that final round for your fruit, which is your end game scoring. Whoever has the most points wins the game. And that is how you play Sushi Go Party from Game Right. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And of course, if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, as well as subscribing to the channel and sharing it with your friends and family. And do also take a look at us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.